Everyone, nearly six weeks in, tens of thousands of Boeing aerospace machinists have voted to stay on the picket lines, extending a strike that's halted most aircraft production. Their union announcing this evening that 64% of members who voted rejected the company's latest offer. That included a 35% raise over four years, the reinstatement of an annual bonus program, a $7,000 ratification bonus, and a one-time company contribution to their 401ks, though some machinists wanted more, including their pensions. Here's what the union's president had to say tonight about the offer once all the votes were tallied. You know, this wasn't enough for our members. Uh, there is a big gap that we couldn't reach, especially when it's been 16 years since we've had a chance to bargain every area of our contract. And trying to make all that up in one is very hard to do, but our members deserve more. Well, I've said there's no silver bullet. This isn't going to be fixed in one fell swoop. Uh, we've got a lot of issues here that we're dealing with. The first thing we've got to do is stabilize the business. And obviously getting through the IAM strike is the first big step in doing that. Well, Kelly Ortberg there, Boeing CEO, tonight on CNBC before the union announced its decision. We did reach out to Boeing tonight, which had no comment on the outcome there. Boeing, by the way, just hours prior reporting a $6.1 billion loss last quarter. The company also plans to cut its workforce by about 10%. We, of course, will keep you posted.